us, Sharon, how long this event's been going on for now? The first one was in 2005, so this is number nine. <gasps> Amazing, because it's know. every other year. So you were able to hold it two years ago. Yes, we just missed out the COVID. And in 2005, when we did that one, um, it was only going to be a one-off. Because at the end of it, Doc will confirm this, I said never again. You know, but <laughs> it was it was such a great night in the end that uh, it's just gone on and on. So, yeah, we're very excited. It's number nine. Yeah, that's marvellous. And do, do they all, or have they always taken the same sort of format? Similar. We like a mixture of fashion and fun. And all the models are breast cancer survivors. So it can be a bit emotional as well. Mm. So it's uh, it's a mixture of everything. And that's that's what's good about it, really. It is really moving, and it's. It, but also, it's such a joy-filled event, isn't it? It's yeah. So much fun. I mean, in part because of this pair who well, are, yeah. you know, wreaking <laughs> havoc on the stage in the royal corner. <laughs> in the royal corner, yeah. exactly. And um, we'll talk, we'll talk to Dot and Jeff in just a little bit. But obviously, carry on, carry um, on. what what are you mumbling there? Carry on, carry on, carry, carry on, carry on. It's all going very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing all right so far, H. Good. He good. has Keep decreed. Going. He's decreed. Um, Angie, just obviously one of the big things about this event is it is raising money for fabulous charities. Just remind us who it's raising money for and what the different charities do. So we've got for Breast Cancer Now, uh, volunteering in the Isle of Man. And our charity is um, funding fantastic research. Obviously, the money goes off the island for research because, it, you know, we can't do it over here. Um, currently, we've got over 80 cutting edge projects um, in progress at the moment with regards to preventing breast cancer. Um, we're looking at secondary breast cancer, which is massive at the moment because so many women are living with breast cancer for the second time and we want them to live well with it and, you know, they can continue. So there's a massive project going on there. Male breast cancer is another one that is, you know, they're funding um, extensively at the moment. And the other one is breast cancer in young women. There's more and more younger women um, becoming diagnosed with breast cancer lately in in their 20s you know it's mm. just crazy to see it coming down more and more people are surviving this um, disease but there's still lots of people being diagnosed with it in the first place uh, and you say more and more are surviving that's partly because this research has progressed so far in the past years you must have seen it yourself in in being involved with this absolutely you know i'm a 20 year survivor sharon you're even longer 26. than that yeah. 26 years which we're very grateful to and i'm very grateful for the treatment that i had you know and that treatment I had some of it here in the Isle of Man and some of it in the UK. And, you know, without research, we wouldn't have that treatment brought to our um, hospital. So we're very, very grateful for that. And you mentioned male breast cancer then. Even now, I think that sort of slips under the radar somewhat, doesn't it? It definitely mm -hmm. does. And we've got two male models um, out on the catwalk next week. So we're happy to have them with us. And, you know, they are great awareness for men that should be checking themselves just the same as women. Oh, and so we've just been learning about uh, breast cancer now and the, the research work that, that the money goes towards there. Sharon, tell us a bit about Isle of Man Breast Care and what that charity does. Right. Well, we've been around since 1996 and our charity actually deals with the patients. We support them emotionally and practically and financially where we can because treatments can go on to up to a year, maybe longer. And if you're in a job that hasn't got very good Sickness benefits, like I was lucky, I was in the post office with, you know, you get six months full pay, half pay and etc. But not everybody has that luxury. And you don't want to be worrying about your finances when you're going through cancer treatment. And the breast clinic are very good. They put us in touch with people. They sort of manage to find the people that are struggling and they'll put them in touch with me or they'll contact me and then I'll contact them and we find out how we can help them. And I'll go and visit them, see what we can do for the best. And then it's it's pretty instantaneous then. Macmillan are good for grants, but it takes a bit longer going through the grant system. But with, with our charity, we're sort of there. If a bill needs paying sort of suddenly, you know, we can we can do it. And if people haven't got anyone to go to appointments with them up at the hospital or even appointments in the UK, you know, I'll go with them or one of the other ladies will go with them. So... They've always got support there anyway. 
What a relief that must be when you're dealing with what must be one of the scariest things you yeah. can possibly deal with to know that some of that is taken off you to you don't mm. have to worry about that. And it must over the years that you've done this event and all of the other fundraising events you've done, this event in particular has always been so popular. So you must have been able to raise quite a bit of money for these fabulous charities over the years. Yeah, I think I, I add it up roughly and over the years now up to now, I think it's just over a hundred thousand um over the over the eight shows. So it's um, it's been brilliant, yeah. Significant amount. And, yeah. and have you seen an uptake with the number of people actually using the services offered by the charity over the years? Yes, and sadly, just as Angie was saying, younger women. You know, the last five years, I think I've spoken to quite a few young women in their very early 30s, late 20s, with very young children. And that's not nice to see at all, you mm. know, but... Um, you know, as Angie was saying as well, early diagnosis is definitely the the answer. And you know, do you think part of that is because people are much more aware of checking themselves and so perhaps we are ma managing to get them in a little bit earlier? Absolutely. You know, our awareness is touch, loop, check. Everybody should be doing that, whether it's every week or every month. You should be checking yourselves, men and women too, um, because early diagnosis definitely saves lives. And um, with breast cancer now, we've got a 40 year generation study that's been going for 17 years where there's over 100,000 people involved in that study. And there's some from the Isle of Man in it as well. And there's people who've never had anything to do with breast cancer and people who have. So they're like comparing, you know, why are some people getting breast cancer and some isn't? So they're going back to the root cause, you know, and that's the only way we're ever going to stop breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So fab fabulous work that these mm. charities are doing. And so if you want to support in some way, uh, you can by buying a ticket to what is essentially one of the funnest events in the mm. calendar. Uh, it is fast approaching. Uh, just remind us, Sharon, when and where it is. And are there actually any tickets left? <laughs> it's on Friday, the 22nd of October, which who is next Friday. Next Friday. Friday. Is. And uh, there are some tickets uh, mainly upstairs, downstairs sold out. A little while ago, and but there are some upstairs, and I think people tend to think they're missing out on a bit if they're upstairs, but they're absolutely not because it's a great view from upstairs. The catwalk comes out quite a long way into the Royal Hall, so and Jeff and Dot get all over. They it. get all over the place, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's really good seats up there. So get them while they're still there. Definitely do. Uh, we've, we've got some fantastic sponsors. We've got Elite Group, who are just tremendous. You know, seven and a half thousand pounds to sponsor this event. It's not a cheap event to put on, is no. it, Sharon? You know, the no. Royal Hall costs money, and you know we understand that it's a big hall and it. it it doesn't run on fresh air and even though we're a charity it has to be bills have to be paid and wages have to be paid so we are entirely grateful to elitegroup.com and i think the clothing is mns again mns again yeah <gasps> they're brilliant with us because we've got um we're choosing the clothes tonight actually mm. so we'll all be down there and marks and spencer staff are brilliant because they look after us and guide us to what outfits and they want us to look good and feel good as well so they're really great 